Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jake from TNJ, and welcome to season five of San Jose State Spartan football. And the last four years have been nothing but impressive as we are coming off of a Rose Bowl victory versus Iowa. And this is a new look offense, starting with Sammy Baldwin, the speedy receiver. He got changed over from quarter, quarterback in the offseason, and he's going to bring a dynamic weapon to the offense. And then Heoli Managa, who's coming off of his red shirt season, he's coming in at the starter at middle linebacker, replacing Isaac Tagia. So looking at the preseason polls, Auburn is ranked number one going into the season. They are coming off of a national championship. And then the second runner-up team, is Virginia Tech they are gonna be number three in the country but we are here slotted at number 30 I'm actually pretty surprised at this they are disrespecting San Jose State they don't think we can repeat as they don't even have us preseason ranked so looking at the All-Americans Andre Armstead is a preseason All-American along with Michael Cummings and you can't forget about James Will Smith as we have three guys on defense hopefully we get some more on offense as well. Drayvon Jennings is coming into this season, the best rated player on our squad. He is going to be our captain as we go into this season ranked as the number 24 ranked toughest team to play at home. So here we are going up against Colorado to open up the season. They are 0-1. They had a shootout versus Colorado State and they ended up losing by three, 38 to 41 as they are led by Blake Stenstrom at quarterback who can throw the ball pretty well 88 throw power 92 accuracy and he can run the ball a little bit as well but they don't really run the ball too much they throw the ball a lot more they have a senior at receiver daniel aria so we got to watch out for him he's 96 overall and he's projected to be one of the top picks in the nfl draft next year so we are at home to start out season five so let's get this season underway and here's dodd sending us off into the season as Colorado is back to receive the kick and here is Jackson getting hunted down by our kick coverage team and that was actually Champagne Green who's coming into his freshman year he's going to play a lot of special teams so here we go let's get this season underway out on defense here is Stenstrom throwing the screen pass out to the right side finding his best receiver Daniel Arias they lined him up in the slot that time and that's a first down to start it out Stenstrom here Throwing a slant route this time once again to Arias, and he's picking up 14 yards, getting their superstar involved right away, and that's an easy way to success. Here's Broussard, though, getting a handoff, and he's getting tackled behind the line. Andre Armstead there for the tackle. So third and 13, Stenstrom facing a blitz, and he gets hit as he throws, and he's going to find Newman, and he's going to be open for 31 yards as they move the ball close to the 20-yard line. So second and 10, here's a screen pass out to Broussard. He's got a room up, lane up the middle. He's going to break a tackle, and he's in for the touchdown. And that drive seemed a little too easy as our defense looked a little shaky there, and we give up seven points early. So here comes Jennings out onto the field. Can he replicate that last drive given up by our defense? And he's giving the ball off to Denzel Knox, who's coming into his red shirt sophomore year. And he picks up about a gain of six here on a second and six pass. Here is Drayvon Jennings. His first pass of the season is actually a bad miss. That's a terrible throw on that. So now third and six. Here's a scramble out to the right. He's got some room and a block. And he's picking up the first down gain of 17 for the junior Drayvon Jennings. And now he gets it close to the 45. Second and 11, throw across the middle. He's got Raheem Akusi going into his red shirt junior year. And he fumbles it. And he's going to cough it up, and Gray is going to fall on it for Colorado. And they just go straight for the ball. They know what to do there. And here, Colorado takes back over after the turnover. Here's a handoff to Chris Broussard. Actually, just Broussard, Jared Broussard. I'm thinking of ESPN here in Fox Sports. And there is a loss of two on that tackle. So third and seven. Here is Stentrum. He doesn't have enough time to get rid of it, and he's sacked on that play. And that's James Jackson Jr., as he's only rated 68 overall, I believe, going into this season. And they attempt a long field goal, and that's not even close. So here we are taking back over on offense. Drayvon Jennings scrambling out to the right side. He's going to throw that way to Champagne Green, but it's going to be knocked away. And look who it is. It's Cameron Merriman, one of our top recruits last year, who got stolen away from Colorado. So here is Denzel Knox getting the ball up the middle. He's got eight yards close to the 50 
making it a third and two. Play action fake, throwing the ball to the right, and it's actually gonna be tipped at the line by the defense, and we're gonna have to punt this ball away to Colorado. So can we start stop Stentrum on this drive? First and 10, throw deep, and Josh Hemphill's in coverage, but they find Donovan Lee, 36 yards down the field for the first down. So here's a handoff, Broussard up the middle once again, and he's picking up eight yards on that one as they move the ball past the 30. Play action fake, thrown out to a wide open man. They got their tight end, Henderson, and James Will Smith cannot run them down in time, and that's a touchdown, and Colorado takes the 14-0 lead here on the road. So here's Denzel Knox starting out the next drive with the carry up the middle. He's getting a gain of five, just trying to get the running game going four carries for 16 yards so far. Second and five, here's Jennings, throw out to the sideline. He's got Champagne Green, and that's a nice way to start your career. Congratulations on that catch, and he picks up 18 yards. So second and 10, quick throw across to the right side. There's Sammy Ball when he's getting involved. I'm really excited for what he brings to the offense. He gets his first catch of his San Jose State career. So second and four, here's a handoff up the middle. Here's Jay Taylor, he's picking up eight yards and he's moving the ball close to the 10 yard line. So first and 10, throw across the middle. He had a wide open Raheem Akusi and Drayvon Jennings cannot find his, his man and that brings it to a third and eight. Pressure up the middle, he's gonna get rid of it. It's gonna be knocked away, probably should have been picked off. That's Brian Crawford on the coverage and we have to settle for the field goal. So now here is Colorado back out onto the field, throwing a ball across the middle. That's Desmond Jackson, another one of our recruits last season. And you see he's second on the tight end depth chart for Colorado. So here's Broussard on the handoff on a third and two. He's got a lot of room up the middle and that's a gain of 11 and another first down for Colorado. We gotta come up with a stop here. Here's a screen pass out to the right side. That's Arias again and he's picking up nine on that one as they move the ball close to the 50. So they do eventually get the first down. Quick throw across the middle, they've got Jackson. This time it's Jalen Jackson, 25 yards. And now they are in business once again. Handoff up the middle, this time Bruce Starr is gonna have a open lane. He's gonna get inside the five yard line to about the three yard line. So first and goal from the pistol formation. Here is Stenstrom, quick throw to the left and he's got Arias and that's three passing touchdowns and Colorado has the 21 to three lead and we gotta catch up by a wide margin. So here's Jay Taylor with the catch on the sideline. He's getting it in bounds for about a gain of 10 on that one. On a second and nine throw down the field and he's got Carl Wolf and he's getting the ball inside the 40 yard line on the other side of the field. And that's nice release on that one as Carl Wolf's gonna have to lead us at the number one position on the right side of the field. So here is Raheem Akusi getting the catch across the middle and that's a gain of 21 for him. So we're moving the ball on this drive. Here's a throw across the middle once again to Carl Wolf. He's getting inside the five on that one. That's a gain of nine and that sets up a first and goal carry from the pistol formation. You're gonna see a lot of pistol. And here is Denzel Knox in for the two yard touchdown run for the first touchdown here in season five. And we're back in this game. So here's Colorado on the next drive, throwing a screen pass out to the right. And that's not going anywhere, actually losing seven yards. Andre Armstead on the tackle. So third and 11, here's a throw across the middle. And that's almost picked off by James Will Smith. He almost had it and we force the first punt of the game. So here is Colorado kicking off to Champagne Green, the true freshman. He's getting around to the outside, cutting inside, and picking up a gain of 19. I really like what this kid's gonna do for this special teams unit. So now back out onto the field. Here's our offense on a second and 10. Jennings gonna throw it to the right side, and it's gonna be picked off by Bentley, and he's gonna take it all the way back to about the 30 yard line. We make our first mistake of the game, waiting too long to throw that ball, maybe dropping back a little too far, and we throw the interception. So here's Colorado back out on the next drive, getting three yards from Broussard, bringing it to a third and seven. Stenstrom trying gotcha, to scramble bitch. out, but this time he's not getting away. And there he is, Andre Armstead, the preseason All-American, his first sack of the year. 
So they do line up for the second field goal attempt of the evening, and that's going to be off. So Colorado has missed two field goals to start here in the first half. Here's a throw out to the right side. There's Sammy Baldwin getting open. That's a gain of 11. <laughs> he may be too fast for his own good. He gets out of bounds on that one. So under two minutes left. Here is a throw deep down the field. He's got Sammy Baldwin. He's open. He's getting in for the touchdown. Sammy Baldwin, the redshirt freshman, just outruns the entire defense. And he's in for the touchdown. And he cuts this lead down to just three. So now here on the next drive, a minute left here in the first half. Here's Clint Parrish getting the reception for eight yards as Stenstrom gets out in the shotgun here on the second and two. Here he is scrambling up the middle this time, and he's falling forward for a gain of 10. So we have some confusion here to start the play. Here's a deep throw across to the right side, and they've got Daniel Arias again. And wow, another passing touchdown here in the first half in Colorado is on the board again. So here, 45 seconds left here in the first half. Here is Champagne Green getting a couple of blocks and he's got nothing but green in front of him with one man to beat here and he gets run down at the 12 yard line. But you can already see the impact that Champagne Green and Sammy Baldwin are having on this game. Quick throw out to the right side on the first play and there's Raheem Makusi and he's making this game interesting as he gets in for the touchdown and we answer right back as we go into halftime. Man, this is a good game. 28-25, the second half is coming next. So here we go out to start the second half. Denzel Knox in the backfield, handing off from Drayvon Jennings and here is Knox getting to the outside. He's got a gain of eight as I have a lot I'm going to have a lot of fun with this playbook. There's a lot of shotgun plays. Honestly, a lot more than last year's playbook with Western Michigan. But here is Sammy Baldwin getting going. And I think a lot of our receivers are going to benefit. And he's already at 98 receiving yards already in his first game here at SJSU. So here's Denzel Knox getting the carry up the middle. And that's a gain of seven, bringing it to a second and three. Jennings throw out to the right. He's got Carl Wolf. And that's a nice catch, 18 yards and a first down. So now we're at the 15 yard line. Here's a handoff to Jay Taylor this time. He gets hit, but a gain of eight and he is shaken up on that play, bringing it to a second and two. Here's a throw out to the right. Here is Matt Pollard, but he's getting tackled and he's getting his first catch as a tight end, getting inside the five yard line. So here is Denzel Knox on the next carry, getting out to the right. And he's got a gain of three on that one, and that's enough for a touchdown. And now we trim this lead down to just, or we actually take the lead, and we take the lead by four. So now here is Broussard out on the next drive, getting a six-yard carry to start it out as we want to bottle him up in the second half. Here he is running to the left side, and he's going to find Michael Pryor with the huge hit on that one. And wow, take another look. Broussard just doesn't see Pryor at all, and he gets punished for it. And we force the punt as we take back over with the four-point lead. So here on a second and eight in the bunch formation to the right side. But here is Jennings. He's going to get sacks. He's going to lose 15 yards on that one, tackled by Tony Webb. So third and 23. They're setting the all-out blitz, and we're going deep. Sammy Baldwin one-on-one, -on -one, and that's knocked away by Shannon Young. That's the matchup we want, one-on-one -on -one down the field, but it comes up just short, and we have to punt the ball away. So here's Broussard trying to run the ball on the next drive, and he's losing three. That's a tackle by Michael Cummings. That's a loss of three yards. So second and 13. Here is Stenstrom place, facing a blitz from the left side, finding Daniel Arias, who's getting a gain of 13 right back, and they make it third and one. So Jackson running in motion. They're going to hand it off to Broussard one more time, but there's going to be a tackle in the backfield. First attacked by Michael Cummings and cleaned up by James Will Smith. So now we do get them to punt the ball here to start the fourth quarter. Here's Jennings facing some pressure. And he's not going to get away. He's getting sacked. That's a loss of four yards. And now we're facing a third and 15. Snap from the shotgun. Pretty good protection. He's going to throw it down the field. He's going to find Raheem Akusi. And Akusi is over 100 yards with that catch. And now we are inside 
the 10 yard line. Here's a throw across the middle. There, Champagne Green. And wow, look at all of these receivers. I think we're better at the receiving core this year than we were last year. So many weapons. And now we're in for the touchdown, making it 11 point lead. Gotcha, bitch. So here is Stenstrom on the next drive, but he's getting sacked. And it's James Jackson Jr., his second sack of the game. So now third and 14, we're sending the blitz. Throw across the middle. He's got Newman, who's got a lot of yardage. He's gonna, br gonna break a tackle, and he's still on his feet, and he gets run down by Joe Joe Forrest. 58 yards for Newman that time, and they're over 400 yards of total offense. Here's a throw to the right side, Stenstrom. He's gonna find Henderson. That's an 11 yard gain. So second and 13, here's Broussard with the handoff up the middle and somehow gets around Marcus Daniels. 17 yards out, so this is a back and forth game as they get in for the touchdown. So they do have to go for it here on the two point conversion to make it a three point game and they're not gonna get in. That's Daniel Arias on the catch again, but a nice tackle that time by Marcus Daniels. So we do have it inside of three minutes, just trying to milk this clock down, get into field goal range and make it an eight point game or even try to run out the clock here as you're on a second and six. Here's a throw across to the right side. There's Raheem Makusi and another 13 yards for him and he is over 100 yards with his seventh reception of the game. So here's Denzel Knox from the pistol formation breaking a tackle and getting to about the 45 with the 12 yard carry. So they do use their second timeout of the half. Here's a handoff from the pistol. Here's Denzel Knox getting to the outside. He's got a block and he's gonna get, he's gonna be gone. Wow, Denzel Knox. What a second half he's had. And that one is going to seal up this game as what a defensive game here in the second half from our defense and the offense just explodes as wow. We go on to win this game at home. And yeah, it wasn't pretty to start out, but you can just see the potential with this offense. So many offensive playmakers here with Champagne Green. We have Sammy Baldwin now, and Carl Wolf is still there. I mean, just so many guys, as I'm pretty excited for this offense. As Stentrum actually threw for four touchdowns and threw no picks, nine incompletions. He went off, but it wasn't enough because our offense was just as good. Denzel Knox runs for 131 in this game. Jay Taylor was actually hurt in the second half. He actually had to get taken out and he's gonna be just fine. But Raheem Akusi and Sammy Baldwin both go for 100 yards in this game. Both have a touchdown. Champagne Green has a touchdown as well. This was a well-rounded game here from San Jose State. And even our defense started balling out in the second half as we actually got to the quarterback pretty pretty well and often I mean if you think about it you know James Jackson Jr. coming off of the left edge and then Andre Armstead coming off the right edge I really liked what I saw from this team and Hayoli Minaga led the team in tackles his first game as a San Jose State Spartan man it was a good game for him Michael Cummings had a good game as well he had eight tackles but you know our two pass rushers had three sacks between them and both had three tackles for loss each so that's a good sign going forward as I'm excited for this season. So we are going up against a tough stretch in the season early parts. Remember, we go up against Auburn, Virginia Tech, and Iowa all in this stretch. So it is not going to be easy. But that's going to do it for this episode. Let me know what you guys think of the team going into Season 5. I was very impressed by the offense here with this new air raid attack. So hit subscribe, hit that like button. We're going into Season 5 hot. So stay tuned. Let's get it. Let's go.